Hi, I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Frank. And today we're making mojitos. Oh, I didn't see you there. Stay at the end of this video to get the details of the winners of our t-shirt giveaway. Well, these are a drink that uh, we don't drink often. Um, when my kids were young, we would go to Fire Island a lot with the family and a lot of my wife's sisters and friends, and I would make mojitos and everyone would get plastered. Uh, this is a drink that everyone enjoys, but you can only have one or two of, okay? Uh, and this is my version. There's a lot of different versions of this drink and uh, some you kind of beat everything up in the glass. I kind of take a gentler route. So let's make this mojito. Here's what we're gonna do. I have a mixing glass. I have a lot of equipment here and stuff like that, but I really don't have all the equipment that I need. Uh, I'm gonna use a wooden spoon for a muddler. Usually you have a muddler for this. I have a shaker. I have a jigger, which is two ounces, one ounce. It's always good to measure your drinks. Uh, whenever you have a drink that is like too alcoholic or too sweet or too acidic, you're not measuring your ingredients. I have some rum. This rum was given to me. It is an aged rum and it's made for sipping, but this is the rum I have in house. It is not spiced rum. Do not use spice rum for this. A lime and some fresh mint. Uh, it's spring where I am right now and fresh mint is coming up all over my yard, okay? And this is spearmint, not peppermint, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. Cut the lime. I'm gonna use half a lime for this, okay? Cut it in quarters. And I'm not a person that likes to juice things. I like having the lime rind in my drink too. So I'm gonna put a half a lime. And then uh, this is two ounces, so I'm gonna do about an ounce of simple syrup. So that's about half of, the, half of that measurement of simple syrup. Uh, if you like your drink sweeter, by all means, make it a little sweeter, okay? And I'm gonna take a bunch of mint leaves, uh, probably like 10 mint leaves right now. And I'm gonna just throw them in the glass with all that stuff, okay? And then I'm gonna take the back of my spoon and just kind of beat this up a little. I wanna get some of that mint flavor into the simple syrup, okay? But I don't really wanna grind my mint leaves up. I've seen mojitos where it's tons of flecks of little green uh, mint leaves in your drink, and I don't really like that. I really want it to be where the leaves are there and you can kind of drink it without getting little bits and pieces in your mouth, okay? Um, two ounces of rum, and I'm gonna do two, a generous two ounce pour because we like the booze, okay? Um, and then ice, and I'm gonna give this a shake, okay? So I'm gonna go pretty much three quarters of the way up the glass with ice. Now the, what the ice does is it not only dilutes the drink a little, um, it helps bring out some of the flavors in the alcohol. Uh, and I'm gonna take my shaker, tap, tap on top, turn it over, make sure that I got a good seal, hold on really well, and I'm gonna shake, oh, that just came loose. I'm gonna shake until the, my, um, until my shaker gets nice and frosty. Okay, so we got nice and frosty. Give it a tap. Smells great. Into my glass. Top off with a little bit of seltzer. I just happen to have lemon lime seltzer. Uh, that's just what I have in house. Top with some seltzer and then get a nice sprig of mint. And what you want with this mint is as a garnish and it's a functional garnish because if you put it in your drink and while you're drinking, you get mint in your nose, that's what you want, okay? And that's how I make a mojito. Let's give this a taste. Mm. I'm gonna give it a little stir because all I got was seltzer. Okay, put my mint garnish back in. Mm. Delicious, refreshing. Mmm, mmm, I can't wait to finish that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Pinch of Frank. I'm Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Enjoy. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanna thank everyone for participating in the Q&A uh, giveaway. We have our four winners and what's gonna happen is, is for the four people that won the giveaway, I'm gonna put an email below their comment uh, and I want you to contact me uh, by Monday. 
Uh, so if you've won, you'll get that email. Contact me by Monday. I'll get all the information and send your t-shirt out. Uh, if I don't hear from you by Monday, June 2nd, I think, uh, we are going to pick new winners or just new people to send the t-shirt out to. So thanks again. Thanks for all the great stories. And uh, we'll see you soon. Mojito Madness. Mojito Madness. Mojito Madness.